Today, we are going to discuss a very, very important topic. And the topic is that how do you create your resume and CV? When I say create, means create in the right way so that it gets shortlisted. Because if you are applying for a new opportunity or if you are applying for a new job, the very first thing is that your, your uh, resume should have the right content so that it gets shortlisted. You might have very good knowledge, but if your CV is not being shortlisted, then you will not be appearing for interview. So this is very important that your CV has the right content, it has the right structure in it, so that you are able to leave a right message to someone who is interviewing you. So let's see today how we can build a, a powerful uh, resume using the PowerPoint slide. So right now I'm sharing my slide uh, and I have split this into two portion, the left and left portion and the right portion. So I'll cover them one by one. So let's look at the left hand side of this slide. So this is where you have to upload your photo. You can go to insert and picture in the PowerPoint and upload your photo. And this is very important that you do not put any casual photo. Just upload a very professional photo uh, over here. And then you can add your personal details like your name, your experience. This is important. Your current role, your organization and your education background. So this is important because many times based on your education background, uh, they have a certain filter criteria. They might have a filter criteria on the role as well. So this is important. Now the next portion which is very important is the credential. What I mean here is that whatever industry you are, I have taken an example of the IT industry here. But make sure that after your basic details, you are putting a right credential in it. Otherwise, the one who is looking at this CV will lose the interest. So you have to make sure that the, you're putting a right credentials and the more important is that your credentials should match with the opportunity what you are applying for. Make sure that you are putting a credential which is a directly mapped with the opportunity or the job you are applying for. This is very important. So you can list down all your uh, credentials here. It could be external certification, internal certification, domain certification, technology certification, uh, program management certification, PMP, agile certification, uh, architect certification it depends you know what is your skill set but make sure that you are putting it here and then just put a symbol also here whatever uh, certification you have done just put corresponding to that you can uh, get the uh, symbol and put it here this is how it brings a uh, uh, actual uh, impact here otherwise it looks like a text when you put a symbol to it it actually means uh, by looking at the cv so it's this is very important and then at the end you can add your personal details like your phone number, uh, your location, your uh, email ID, uh, the language you speak. And these uh, things are also very important because many times the CV gets filtered based on the location. So it is important that you're putting the right location here based on the job you're applying for. Now, if you look at the right hand side, at the top, you have to put your profile summary. This is very important that you have put a crisp and summarized way of profile summary about yourself then you can add a key skills here again this is very important that the key skills should match with the opportunity you are applying for this this, this has to map so that your cv gets shortlisted and after that you can have a summary section where you can put your professional experience summary so if you have a 15 year experience 20 year experience and you have worked uh, across different companies so you can uh, put them here let's say for example, I have worked in a company from 5 to 10, uh, another company from 2010 to 15 and so. And if that's not a case, you have worked only in one organization, but within that organization, you might have worked in different projects or might work in a different role. Your role might have elevated over the period, so you can divide based on that. So it all depends how your experience have been in the last 10, 15, 20 years or beyond that also. Now, one of the uh, important point to be uh, taken here, taken care is that you know while you're putting something on 2005 and 10, then you go to 10 and 15, then you go to 16, 19, and you, you go up. Make sure that your roles is getting elevated. The your CV should reflect it that all the years, right? You have gradually uh, progress on your roles, on your responsibilities. You have taken a higher roles. So by seeing this, your growth path should be reflecting. This is very important that your roles are being elevated over the period. So it shows the growth you have taken in the last couple of years. And then the bottom section is the future vision. This is very important. You will not see it in many CVs. But I personally felt this is very important because when you go for interview, they will ask that how do you contribute to the growth of the organization? Where do you see yourself after five or 10 years? So rather than, you know, those... Uh, 
uh, questions to be answered there. You can put this information here and one of the uh, uh, one other thing which can be done is that whichever, whichever company you are applying for, make sure that you are reading about that company, you are reading about CXOs and CEOs of that company, where they want to see that company 5-10 years, what are the plans they have from their growth perspective and make sure that your future vision is aligning with their growth and uh, mindset basically, right? That's how it is. It has to be mapped. So if someone looked at your CV, can directly relate that you are the right candidate for the growth of the organization for that particular role. So this is very important. You have to do certain homework. You have to understand which uh, job you are applying for, which opportunity you are applying for, what is the expectation from you. And then you also look at it from your perspective. How do yourself, how do you see yourself growing in that company? And based on that, you fill this section. This is going to be a game changer. If you put a right future vision, considering your growth, and the company growth you are applying for, your CV is going to be definitely shortlisted. So if you follow this structure, the template, I'm sure uh, you are going to shortlist it for the interview and definitely for your uh, opportunity as well. So I have a few other uh, template also. Uh, this is a, uh, a different uh, color theme. I have another one also here. Uh, this is a little bit different template and then another color here. All these are editable slides and I just said I have uh, put them into a, a, a share path. The link is given in the description section. You can download it uh, from there and you can use it. I'm sure these templates is going to be very, very much useful for you.